directing, film techniques and aesthetics by Michael Rabiger and Mick Herba's Cherrier is a comprehensive guide to the art and craft of film directing. The book covers a wide range of topics, including pre-production, production, and post-production, as well as the creative and technical aspects of filmmaking. The book begins with an introduction to the role of the director, emphasizing the importance of having a clear vision for the film and the ability to effectively communicate that vision to the cast and crew. The authors stress the need for collaboration and effective communication between all members of the production team. They also discuss the different types of directors, such as the auteur director and the collaborative director, and how each approach can impact the final product. Chapter 1 delves into the pre-production process, which is the period leading up to the start of filming. The authors stress the importance of script analysis, which involves breaking down the script into its essential components, including the plot, characters, themes, and motifs. They also discuss casting, location scouting, and storyboarding, providing detailed guidance on each of these topics. Additionally, the authors offer tips for managing the budget and schedule, including how to create a shooting schedule and how to manage the logistics of filming on location. Chapter 2 covers the production process, which is the actual filming of the movie. The authors provide guidance on working with actors, including how to conduct auditions, how to rehearse scenes, and how to give direction on set. They also discuss camera techniques, including framing, movement, and shot selection, as well as lighting, sound, and production design. Throughout this chapter, the authors provide numerous examples and case studies to illustrate their points and offer practical advice for managing the challenges that arise during the shoot. Chapter 3 explores the post-production process, which is the period after filming when the movie is edited, sound is designed, visual effects are added, and color grading is performed. The authors stress the importance of understanding the role of each of these elements in the overall storytelling process. They provide guidance on how to work effectively with post-production professionals, including editors, sound designers, and visual effects artists. Additionally, they discuss the role of the director in the post-production process, including how to provide feedback and direction to the post-production team. Chapter 4 focuses on storytelling, which the authors argue is the core of filmmaking. They discuss the importance of creating a compelling story and engaging characters, as well as the different types of stories that can be told through film. They also explore the role of genre, style, and tone in shaping the narrative of the film. Additionally, they provide guidance on how to structure the story, including the use of acts, plot points, and character arcs. Chapter 5 covers the aesthetic aspects of filmmaking, including visual storytelling, mise-en-scene, and sound design. The authors discuss the different visual elements of film, including framing, camera movement, color, and composition. They also explore the use of sound in film, including dialogue, music, and sound effects. Additionally, they discuss the role of production design in creating the visual world of the film, including the use of sets, props, and costumes. Chapter 6 delves into the technical aspects of filmmaking, including camera and lighting techniques, sound recording, and post-production workflows. The authors provide detailed guidance on the use of different types of cameras and lenses, as well as the different types of lighting setups and techniques. They also discuss the different types of microphones and sound recording equipment, as well as the different types of software and tools used in post-production. Chapter 7 explores the role of the director in working with actors. The authors discuss the different types of actors, including trained and untrained actors, and the different approaches to directing them. They also provide guidance on how to build a relationship with actors and how to create a collaborative and supportive environment on set. Additionally, they discuss the use of improvisation and rehearsal techniques to help actors develop their characters and create a more authentic performance. Chapter 8 focuses on the technical aspects of directing, including shot selection, camera movement, and editing. 
The authors discuss the different types of shots, including close-ups, medium shots, and wide shots, and how they can be used to convey different emotions and tell the story in a more effective way. They also explore the use of camera movement, including pan, tilt, and dolly shots, and how they can be used to add visual interest to the film. Additionally, they discuss the basics of film editing, including the use of cuts, transitions, and pacing. Chapter 9 covers the business of filmmaking, including financing, distribution, and marketing. The authors discuss the different types of financing options available to filmmakers, including self-financing, crowdfunding, and grants. They also explore the different types of distribution channels, including theatrical release, streaming services, and home video. Additionally, they provide guidance on how to market and promote a film, including the use of social media and other marketing tools. In conclusion, directing, film techniques and aesthetics is an essential guide for anyone interested in pursuing a career in film directing. It provides a comprehensive overview of the art and craft of directing, covering everything from pre-production to post-production, and from the creative to the technical aspects of filmmaking. The authors offer practical guidance and advice, as well as numerous examples and case studies to illustrate their points. Whether you are a seasoned professional or just starting out, this book is an invaluable resource for anyone who wants to become a better filmmaker. In addition to the technical and creative aspects of filmmaking, the book also covers the importance of collaboration and teamwork in the film industry. The authors stress the importance of building a strong team and creating a positive working environment on set. They provide tips on how to communicate effectively with crew members and how to delegate tasks to ensure that everything runs smoothly. The book also addresses the challenges of working with limited budgets and resources. The authors provide strategies for maximizing resources and achieving high-quality results, even on a tight budget. They also discuss the importance of being flexible and adaptable, and how to make the most of unexpected situations and opportunities that may arise during the filmmaking process. Finally, the authors provide guidance on how to develop a personal style and voice as a filmmaker. They stress the importance of finding your own unique perspective and using it to tell compelling stories that resonate with audiences. They also encourage filmmakers to continually learn and evolve their craft, and to seek out inspiration and new ideas from a variety of sources. Overall, directing, film techniques and aesthetics is an excellent resource for anyone interested in the art and craft of filmmaking. The book is comprehensive, insightful, and practical, providing a wealth of information and guidance on every aspect of the directing process. 7 Lessons Learned from Directing, Film Techniques and Aesthetics Pre-production is key to a successful film, the authors emphasize the importance of careful planning and preparation in the pre-production phase. This includes developing a strong script, creating a detailed shot list, and assembling a talented cast and crew. Collaboration is crucial, successful filmmaking requires a collaborative effort between the director, cast, and crew. The authors provide guidance on how to build a strong team and create a positive working environment on set. Directing is about storytelling, at its core, directing is about telling a compelling story through visual means. The authors provide strategies for developing strong characters, creating a coherent narrative, and engaging audiences. Visual language is key, filmmaking is a visual medium and the authors provide guidance on how to use visual language to tell a story effectively. This includes shot selection, camera movement, and editing techniques. Directing actors requires skill and sensitivity, the authors provide guidance on how to work with actors, both trained and untrained, to create authentic and compelling performances. This includes developing a relationship with actors, using improvisation and rehearsal techniques and creating a supportive environment on set. Flexibility and adaptability are essential, 
filmmaking is a complex and unpredictable process, and the authors stress the importance of being flexible and adaptable. This includes being open to new ideas and unexpected situations, and finding creative solutions to challenges that arise. Developing a personal style is crucial. Finally, the authors emphasize the importance of developing a personal style and voice as a filmmaker. This involves finding your own unique perspective, and using it to tell stories that resonate with audiences. If you want to learn how to become a successful filmmaker, directing, film techniques and aesthetics is an essential resource. Whether you are just starting out or are a seasoned professional, this book provides practical guidance and advice on every aspect of the directing process. Click the link in the description to buy your copy today and take your filmmaking skills to the next level. If you found this book summary helpful, please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more book summaries in this category. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more great content in the future.